Good morning. We are heading out to the ReStore to see if they have any new things put out. I bought some things there recently that sold for pretty good money. We sold fairly fast, so I'm excited to go back. Hi everyone, I'm Vicki with Avante Avenue. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, thanks for joining me. This is just a tiny little pin cushion, little dress form. It might be missing something at the top. Paid 50 cents. You can see that 50 cents it has its made in Japan sticker. It's not a high priced item, but I thought someone would like this for their sewing room. And I'm going to list this for, I think, $14.95. Here's something fun I picked up. This is just a little Tupperware double-ended measuring cup. It's not going for a whole lot, but I like to pick up smalls once in a while. Paid 50 cents for it, and I will list this for just $14.95. Tupperware is very collectible. Did you know that? It's sold on eBay for $14.95 plus shipping. This is a brand to be on the lookout for. What is it? Mud Pie. It is a collectible brand. Mud brand has been around since 1988. It was invented by Marsha Miller out of Stone Mountain, Georgia. And so keep your eyes open for this. This is a nice long tray. It is a Christmas piece, but I put it in here anyway. It has a pine cone design. I paid $2 for it. But I'm going to be listing this for $24.95. Let me show you how large it is here. Pretty good size. And then I picked up some tins. I bought two in the Kingsport Restore and one in Johnson City. This one here, actually two of them, say the Collins Street Bakery on the side, Corsicana, uh, Corsonica, I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Texas, USA, these vintage tins. One of them was 50 cents. These two were quarter each. And these are going for around $15 each. So I picked up some tins. I don't buy tins very often, but I thought, you know, the price was right. And I'll, I'll put those on eBay. This is gold collection petites, meaning it's a small cross stitch pattern. Did pay $4 for it, that's paying up I would say, but it's a dimensions brand. And whenever you see gold collection, especially if you can get the larger cross stitch patterns, they can go for good money. I'm going to be listing this for $39.95. Can you believe that? I did make sure that it was unused, extremely important. You don't want anything missing from the kit. And yeah, $39.95, so keep your eyes open for a gold collection by Dimensions. This little sifter, it's unbranded, and I'm going to be keeping this for one of my Christmas vignettes, one of my displays. I think I paid 50 cents. This is a Nut Chopper by Gemco. Can you see Gemco, G-E-M-C-O? And I just want to let you know that the color yellow is just as popular as the color red. So keep your eyes open for vintage items like this. I already took the price tag off because I washed it, but I paid a dollar for it. And this will get listed for $19.95 with make offer and buyer paid shipping. I like that design, kind of mid-century modern. As we were leaving the ReStore, the one in Kingsport, I found this. This is a wall mount sconce shelf with a lion's head. It's resin, it's quite heavy. Paid $2.75 for it. I'm going to list this for $29.95 with make offer and buyer paid shipping. The Elephant. Oh yes, The Elephant. By the way, it's resin. It's quite heavy. I was all excited about this when I found it. I did pay up for it at $5.75. It says Duke the Herd by Martha Carey. It has its original label. But when I got it home, I realized it was missing its tusks. Yes, no tusks. You can see the holes there. 
So that kind of knocked the value down and I'm really not able to return things there. I'm going to have to list it at, well, not too bad, $24.95, but as I said, I paid $5.75, but it would have been worth perhaps around $40 if it was complete. Kind of disappointed that I missed that. And these guys, this, you know, I want to say it's wood, but it's not wood. It's almost like a ceramic, a hollow ceramic, very lightweight. It's a souvenir from Cape Cod. It does have wear. You can see the wear and the chipping, but I was okay with that. Paid $1.50 for it. And then I have its little partner here, the Fisherman. Again, it has some chips and things, but this was also $1.50. I'm gonna sell these together as a set. By the way, look how tall that is. And this set will be listed for, I think I'm gonna list this set because they're so tall, can't find any this size for $39.95 with make offer and buyer paid shipping. I love this little red and green, yes it's two-toned, metal rack that is collapsible. And I'm going to keep this. I think I want to use this in some of my vignettes that I do on my buffet. And I only paid, what did I pay? $3 for that. Kind of washed out $3. So not too bad. And I'm going to hold on to that piece. That is a great use of toilets. Make a little bench out of it. How funny is that? We are at the free store. I'd say this is a lot bigger than ours. Would you say? Some old furniture. Do the wave with me. Can you fit in there? I was really surprised that they had a section for their collectible items, their vintage items, priced at half of eBay. Same or similar sold items. I'm not so sure about that, if they're half the price of eBay. I couldn't find anything there to make a profit. I guess I shouldn't have been surprised in that section. But you know, they can't know everything. No one really does. I just can't help but wonder, what did they miss throughout the store? What can I find today to resell on eBay that they thought had no value? Maybe a tad better at a glance. Is that a hummingbird? Oh, Teleflora. Surprise, surprise. I like the hummingbird and it's pink. Lenins. Lots of linens. Cookbooks. I'm on the lookout for a 1956 Betty Crocker's Pitcher Cookbook, which I sold a few months ago for $55 plus shipping. And I'm always looking for Better Homes new cookbooks. Sold one for $24.97 plus shipping. Two little plates, but none matching. The sighting went on a bit, they're not matching. The 
prices are better here. Mark spotted this little creamer and sugar bowl. Have the lid with it. It was actually $5 for this set. It says Epic, E-P-O-C-H, made in Korea. It's made by Noritake and the pattern number is called Wholesome. It's actually a fruit pattern, but it's called Wholesome. Put this set at $24.95 would make offer. The reason the price tags are both on here is someone had the lid on the creamer and that's how they price them, but we figured it out. Bet it goes over there. Paid $5, listing it for $24.95. The spider dish was $3. I should have taken a closer look at it. The brand is Now Designs. This better dish sold on eBay for $16.99 plus shipping. But here's one worth more. This is a square better dish, also known as a lemon dish, sold for $25.39 plus shipping. So I'll take a closer look next time if the price is right, but really be on the lookout for the square better dishes. Coffee cup, anyone? Boy, did they have coffee cups. To tell you the truth, I'm almost out of room for coffee cups. I have to be very selective. Seriously, very selective. Glass bake. I always pick up glass bake. And this one was no exception. It's uh, Canada 1976. It is an Olympic cup. Paid 50 cents for it. And I will list this for $19.95 plus shipping. Not bad. I think we can get the writing off the back of that. And I can put a hanger with it. This is from the Johnson City Restore. My house. My house is small, no mansion for a millionaire, but there is room for love and there is room for friends. That's all I care. And that is made in Japan. I know you can't see it very well there. I'll have to get some remover and take this writing off the back. It has this old wire. However, I'm going to include a brand new plate holder with this. As I said, paid a dollar and I'm going to list it for $19.95 with the brand new plate holder, the wall mount holder. Look at this, it's absolutely beautiful. Can't find anything broken. It says it's uh, left in 1989. I can't find anything like it. Even though the music box isn't working. Where's the price? Where did you see that price? Oh, there it is, $2. I think I'll get it. So here's this little figurine, this little angel and uh, baby Jesus figurine. It says left in, made in Taiwan. What child is this? has 1989 and a number. I could not, it does have some writing out. I could not find this anywhere. And the fact is, the music box really isn't working. So yes, I bought a non-working music box. I paid $2. So why did I buy it when it wasn't working? Because the figure itself, the figurine is absolutely gorgeous. I can't find anything that's broken on it. I think someone will buy it just because it's an angel with a baby. And the fact that the music box doesn't work isn't going to matter. Again, no comps on this. I'm going to list it at $29.95 with make offer. They do. They have a lot of pretty lamps. Yeah, it's a good place to get them. Something unique. You can Step out and let you take a look in there. Really nice.
this is quite unusual. Would you buy this? <laughs> Here's the funny thing. This was in with the vases when it should have been in with the uh, light globes. It was $3 and this is a vintage light shade or globe. It's clear but it doesn't need cleaned up. It's pretty dirty. It's a diamond pattern. Very, very tall as you can see here. And these are going for a lot of money. I'm actually going to list this for $49.95 with make offer and see what we can get. Do you buy these to resell? If you do, leave a comment below. I've got four beautiful red, ruby red goblets paid a dollar each. These are by Ellie Smith. This is called the Moon and Stars pattern. I don't know if you can see it here, Moon and Stars. There are little stars right here. These are going for quite a bit. These are red glass all the way through. They're not flash. After researching these, I found that L.E. Wright contracted with various glass companies to make this pattern. And these happen to be made by Ellie Smith. I'm going to list all four of these goblets for $49.95 plus shipping. Yes, I am. <laughs> if you see ruby red glass, keep your eyes open. I know Avon even made it, but these are L.E. Smith. a little business card holder. You can see it has a boat on here in the design. This is made in USA. It has very tiny writing here that says Metzke, M-E-T-Z-K-E, -E, if I'm saying it correctly. It says 1998. It is a business card holder. It is made from pewter. You can also see a little back stamp here. And these are going for $24.95. It didn't have a price on it, but when I got to check out, I believe they charged me about a dollar for it. So I was happy with that. Mark, look at these. Now here is something really unusual. I looked at these, I put them down. I came back, looked again, put them back. Came back again right before we left and said, I have to buy these. I've never seen anything like it. And I think that someone will like these. I did pay up $5 for each one. They are hand carved wood. I have not been able to identify these, not at all. I assume that they're probably from about the 1950s, my guess is maybe 1960s. It's really hard to say, but because I can't find any comps, I can pretty much price them wherever I want. And I'm going to list these for $49.95 with make offer. And if you have any idea what nationality these are, what country they're from, please leave a comment below and help me out here. I have yet to figure it out, but when I list them, someone will know what they are. I don't know that it's necessarily old. No, it's not. But it sure is pretty, and it's got a little turkey on top. It's got faux crazy. This is a beautiful dish. Honestly, hon, I think it's gorgeous. I have this pretty blue dish. It is not vintage by no means. I'll show you here why. As much as it looks vintage, it's just made in China, but it's absolutely beautiful color. It is ceramic, and the lid has a little turkey on it. I just want to let you know, this is faux or fake crazing on here. It was the color that got me more than anything. I paid $3 for it. I didn't find any comps on it, didn't really expect to. I'm going to put this at $24.95. These little seahorse tea light or votive candle holders are not vintage. They do have this pearlescent finish on it and they came from Ross. I'll take those old labels off. Paid a dollar each, just made in China. I bought them because I know that beach items, nautical themed items do sell well. So at a dollar each, I'll put these together as a set and I'm listing the set at $24.95 with make off. metal that is really cool Japan you're kidding me a dollar fifty uh, hey hon we got to get these oh my gosh those are cool Quackers. they're really cool 
Now these are fun. When I first saw these lying on the table, I thought they were Sirocco, you know, plastic. They actually are metal. Yes, they are. And it says Japan on it. Has a mold number 1164 MBC. Haven't figured out what that stands for yet. But both of these ducks are metal. Only paid a, a dollar for this one and 50 cents for the smaller one. I'll, I'll list them as a set of two. And because they're so unique, I'm going to put it at $49.95 with make offer. I think it is $3. Ah, it's a wild card. How did I box that? It's kind of long. Hmm. I don't know. Interesting. We were about to leave. I did one more walk around the store. I can't believe I passed this by a couple of times. It's only $2. This definitely is a peach. Pretty peach pitcher in excellent condition. And what does it say on the bottom? Can you see it here? It says Portugal right here. So I did get this for $2. I listed for $29.95 with make offer. This is the find of the day at the ReStore in Johnson City. We were about to leave and I spotted a tray of these items that had not been put on the floor yet, did a little quick research and found out it was pretty valuable and they put a price on it of only $15. So I was pretty excited about that. We we're like, yes, we will get these. What do we have here? Casa Blue Daisies made in Japan. Beautiful pattern, really pretty. Now here's the catch. There are only seven coffee cups, but that's okay. I can sell them individually or sell them in lots of two, and then sell one separately when the others sell. I'm not sure yet. The coffee cups are going for about eight to nine dollars each. Now, like I said, I paid 15 for everything. Let's start over here. Here's the gravy boat with its original tray. Now, there's the $15 price tag to show you what we paid for everything. This by itself will be listed for $49.95. Then we have the creamer and the sugar bowl with the lid. Yes, we have the lid. And these are just impressions from the mold. There's nothing wrong with this set. This set will be listed for $49.95 plus shipping with make offer. The salt and pepper shakers. These will be listed for $39.95. And then the butter dish. And the butter dish was the first thing I found online when I was checking comps. This butter dish has sold for $49.95 plus shipping. Yes, it has. We have here over $200 worth of value that we paid $15 for. It's a good thing we found it before it made it out on the floor or it might have ended up in their vintage section and marked up to where we wouldn't want to buy it. So yes, we did good with this. Very happy, very excited about getting it listed. Do you buy dishes to resell? Replacements? If you ever want to check comps, you can check not only eBay solds, but check replacements.com as well. It's a great resource. I hope you like this haul from the ReStore. I highly encourage you to check out your local ReStore. You never know what you're going to find. Yes, yeah, some things are marked up a little high, but they can't know everything. And so you will find some value in some simple items that you can resell. You know, I love to say simple sells for good profit. Well, we found a lot of great items here, and I'm excited to get them listed on eBay. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and ring that bell for notifications. And as always, thanks for watching. I'm Vicki with Devante Avenue. I'll see you soon.